All right, so welcome again to Military Guna TV. Thank you very much um, for joining me again. And as you know, this is a exclusive interview with Cameron Lacey. As you know, he was called up to the squad just the other day to tryouts basically for them to see what he can produce. And he's confident. He's really, really confident in himself. And we're going to go over to the, the, the aspect of what he can offer to the reggae boys. And we're going to discuss and find out who is Cameron Lacey. What is he about? What are his best traits how will he improve the squad what will he offer to the squad how whole is he um we're going to get into those details but before we do that i would really really appreciate it if you guys smash the like button and also hit the subscribe button if you're here for the first time and those who have been here for the long longest duration i do thank you very much for your continued support i really really appreciate it so without further ado we're going to get straight into the details and we're going to go straight over to the interview all right, so Cameron Lacey, how are you doing? I'm doing good, boss. I'm doing really well. <laughs> All right, so a lot of people don't know you. Um, they saw the name, but they don't know you. And you have represented Jamaica before. You have represented Jamaica before. Um, so tell us what is your lineage with Jamaica um, in regards to parents, family. What is it? What, what's your lineage with Jamaica? Uh, so both of my parents are Jamaican, so you know the heart is um, fully Jamaican. Yeah. Um, so yeah both of my parents are jamaican um trips to jamaica how often have you traveled to jamaica um so um ever since i was about 16 17 i've been getting called into the actually when i was 15 i was getting called to the 17s camps and um i was getting called to the 20s camps mm -hmm. and um i would say i i was going to jamaica quite frequently um from the states and um it was I would say it was very frequently for about three, three, three years. I would yeah. say it was very frequently. Yeah, yeah. I, I would understand because football break in the in the pandemic time. So I would understand the reason why that um, you didn't get called during that time period. Um, so what does how much cap how much cap you have? Tell the people. Let, let, let us know how much caps do you have and what have you done so far with those caps? Um, I would say I have about. I would say I have about eight caps um, in the youth team, mm -hmm. and um, the the caps I've done I've done uh, pretty well with them. I would say um, I, while the guys were uh, older than me, I was the youngest one. Uh, I was playing with players the likes of Kahim Paris, Tariq McGee, um, Nikhil Daly, and um, it was it was a good experience because the guys were older and um, I was younger. I was the youngest one, yeah. but um, age age is just a number, um, as you can see. <laughs> and um i feel like um the age was just uh the number when i back then so i was just mm -hmm. fighting and um i was learning things from the older guys that's it's important to learn mm -hmm. from the older guys when you're, you're the younger guy and um i just felt like i did i did well with the caps you know um mm -hmm. sometimes we might have not got the result we wanted yeah. but um i i think you can take something from every game you can learn from every game so mm -hmm. i feel like i've learned a lot playing with the older guys mm -hmm. and that's why i feel like i'm ready to learn uh, and produce on yeah. the international stage at the senior level. All right. So that, 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 and that's I, I'm I'm happy to hear that that you have that um, level of drive. Um, your parents, how which one of your parents is, is does the footballing background come from? Um, I would say the footballing background comes from my mom. Um, she played football when she was younger. Yeah. And then she played uh, football as she got older. Um, unfortunately, she not uh, she didn't go pro. But um, she's ever since I was young been instilling uh, football in me, and that's where I, I found a I found a love for it. Yeah. And uh, ever since I got that love, it just it didn't even feel like a job anymore. It just yeah. everyday thing of passion. So I feel like my mom really instilled <laughs> yeah. that into me. Um, motiv so, so motivation on an, an aspect of motivation. Who would you say throughout your footballing career so far would be your biggest motivation, and what would really be the smaller minuscule factor that led, led to you making that person be a motiva mo most motivated uh, motivational person um i would personally say my mom mm -hmm. um in a way that um as you, you go through things um when you uh, through your career mm -hmm. you go through um, obstacles like uh, i would say injuries you go through mm -hmm. clubs saying no to you um you go through many things and i would say my mom just like that she instilled that keep going because mm -hmm. if you keep going you fight through adversity you only get stronger up here and you only get stronger right here yeah and that's that's the most important thing about most footballers mentality 
Yeah. And I think my mom really instilled that motivation into me. So I keep pushing and fighting mm -hmm. for a, a, a stronger cause because we're not just playing for the, the label Jamaica. We're playing for the full country. So I feel like that's very important that she instilled that motivation into me. Uh, now, um, well said. Um, the, quest, the, the, the aspect is, you, you touch on a good point in regards to the rejection of club agents and all these aspects. Um, I, for a young man as yourself, being rejected, um, I know that's supposed to be very much disheartening. But as you said, you are highly motivated and it gives you the passion to, to fight on um, a lot more. Um, but what, 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 what kind of impact does it really take on you at that moment when you train hard, you work extremely hard for a particular club and they, 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 turn, it, and they turn you down? At that, part, at that particular time, um, how does it impact you? So I would say at first it feels like rejection. You know, yeah. you, you've worked so hard for this moment. You worked so hard for this opportunity. You want to get to the next level and stuff like that. It's it, At first it's rejection. Mm -hmm. But then I feel like second, you have to take it. You have to take it with you. Mm -hmm. So you train harder. And then when you get the next opportunity, never take anything for granted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well said. Well said. All right, so let's start off now. Um, where are you playing football right now? So currently, I'm playing football at the, the University of Charlotte mm -hmm. um, in North Carolina. Yeah. Um, they have a football team at the university, so I'm playing there. And um, at the club level, I played for FC Dallas in Orlando before this. Okay. And um, so far for in FC Dallas, um, what would you say your record is and how would you say that stinch was? Um, I would say that stinch, um, it was good for me, you know. I'm a bunch of talented players. Mm -hmm. I think... Um, it's uh, one of the best youth academies in this uh, country. Mm -hmm. And um, I feel like that stench went well for me, you know. It yeah. made me fight. It made me realize that I'm a, I'm a natural goal scorer. Yeah. I like to score a lot of goals. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it, it, was a, it was a really good stench. So, What's the most goal you scored in a season? Um, the most goals I scored in a season would probably be um, 18, 18 goals. You know how much games? Um, we played about 16 games that year. 16 games and score 18 goals. Wow. Averaging yeah. 1.0, I see 1.01 .01 goals per game. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's nice. Can't so, complain. Can't complain. <laughs> so um, I see in your bio, you have um, forward slash midfielder. Which would you say that is a preferred position? Um, so preferably, I'm a forward. Mm -hmm. um, but um, here, um, I have the 10 on my back. So sometimes I, I drop into the midfield and stuff like that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I would, and when I played, um, when I played, uh, in the youth national teams, I was playing as a 10 and an mm -hmm. eight, but preferably I'm a forward. Oh, that's, 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 that's all nice. three. It's good to have that versatility because, you know, versatility, because, you know, um, modern strikers are, the, the, the demand is so heavy because you're supposed to drop inside the midfield, support the midfielders, um, link up with midfielders, um, and all these aspects. There's so much intricacies in regards to being a striker now, a modern striker. Um, it's best if you, you, you are all-rounded footballer, <laughs> I would say. Exactly. Um, <laughs> um, so how is your season going so far? Um, so... In the spring, it works a little different. Mm -hmm. So um, it's it's friendlies, and um, it kind of prepares you for the fall. But last fall, mm -hmm. we played about uh, we played fifteen games, and uh, I had a it was an okay season. I had five goals, five assists, Ooh, and nice, um, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, it was an okay season, but um, you know, as a goal scorer, you strive for more goals and more goals mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And um, I know I can produce uh, way more in the fall coming up, so <laughs> it's exciting, you know, it's exciting. Yeah. It's exciting. And so, from here, where is your target? Where in, in football in the realm is your target? Which club are you looking at? Which league are you looking at? So, personally, um, in America, there's, um, there's uh, the MLS. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm, looking, I'm looking to, you know, make the jump to that. Mm -hmm. And uh, personally, I would like to not just make the jump, but uh, make an impact on whatever team I go to. Um... I feel like you have to make the impact at the MLS before you can go to a championship <laughs> or you can go to a prem or you can go yeah. to something. I, I have big aspirations, you know, and it, I, it, I think it's important. You start with aspirations up here before you attack the goals yeah, um, on a um, regular basis. Well said. Um, football is, I, 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 I continue to tell people that football has so much to do with the mental state, more so than your natural talent, because you can be so talented, but you're not mentally prepared to take on the adversities that comes with football so which football club do you support 
Um, I support Liverpool. <laughs> um, well, the channel name is Military Guna, so you might have a aspect on the Guna part of it. <laughs> 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 um, who is who is your all time most favorite footballer? My favorite footballer. Um, a, a player I play like, or a, maybe a footballer that I just like admire. The football you admire? Uh, I'd say I admire Neymar a lot. I mean, um, as a Jamaican, I would say um, Jamaican football is about expressing yourself. Oh, and um, I feel like every time Neymar touches the field, he expresses himself in a way like he's like he's in a playground. Yeah. And he's just playing with his friends. So I'd, I'd <laughs> say Neymar. Uh, well, Jamaica football it used to it was about expressing yourself, but in recent time, since we've gotten we've, we've gotten this, the hall is beaten. It seems as if uh, the most expression the players have is just frustration. So <laughs> we're not getting yeah. that <laughs> that nice uh, expression. Yeah, that's that's how it is sometimes. I am um, so as you said, I we spoke a little bit earlier about this. Um, you're really inspired to to make the first step to the senior team, to the the senior reggae boy team, and you are confident in yourself. And definitely, what do you think you could add to this particular Cena team? All right, before we get into that, I wanted to let the viewers know, how old are you? Uh, I'm 21 years old. 21 years old. You have a bright future ahead of you. What does a 21-year-old striker has to contribute to the Reggae Boys team at this part in time? Uh, respectfully to um, all the strikers that are playing in the... Um... The reggae boys, um, I'm learning. I'm, a, I'm, um, I'm learning from you guys. I'm looking, and I think I can really bring a powerful aspect to the game as I'm fast and strong, and I have good feet. So I feel like not just uh, scoring goals. Scoring goals is the most important thing as a striker, but I feel like um, I bring a certain power to the game where I can run through, uh, run through layers of the game, and I also have good feet. I can hold up the ball, or I could turn, mm -hmm. switch the point of attack, and I feel like. Um, you put me in a you put me in a a, a setting like a Jamaican Football Federation, mm -hmm. and um, I feel like I could bring a lot of power to the front line. Okay, that's nice. So um, we have a striker right at this moment, currently, and, and he's a powerful striker. He's a powerhouse in the likes of Mikel Antonio. Um, so we have few strikers. We have Shamar Nichols, Mikel Antonio, Andre Gray, and I may assume that you know you know all these guys and how they play. And Kemar Roof. Yes, respectfully, which, respectfully yeah. <laughs> which one of these strikers do you think that you're more similar to? Um, I would say, I would say I'm 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 similar to Mikel Antonio or Andre Gray, because they're, they're um they're very powerful players mm -hmm. and they have good footwork, they have good feet, and um. I see, I see them, I see them as a uh, very similar players to me. Okay, so Mikel Antonio, I'm, I'm thinking about it. If Jamaica would really need a Mikel Antonio now, and if in the last window, the last three game, would have done a lot better with a Mikel Antonio. Yes, we would have, we would have. So for us to have a young Mikel Antonio in line, I do believe that is uh, very much promising. That's what we're looking for. Um, for that's really, really what we're looking for. Um, so. Tell me, tell me, we have, we, have, we have spoken about the footballing aspect, the background of football. So let us know who is Cameron Lacey. What is Cameron Lacey about? Uh, what do you, what do Cameron Lacey do in his spare time? And how do you, Cameron Pierce see himself um, in the next five, or what do you see himself doing in the next five to ten years from now? So, um, well, the, the way I would describe Cameron Lacey is um, fearless, uh, determined, and um, basically a, a goal getter um an overachiever and um i would say um he, he wants to attack his goals he wants to get to his goals and once he gets to his goals he doesn't want to stop at his goals he wants to get more goals and more goals and it's never ending and um i would say he's he's not complacent mm -hmm. and um he's disciplined a very coachable uh player and um i would say he's a footballer He's a yeah. footballer. Uh, every, Ball. every day he wakes up <laughs> thinking about football, thinking about playing. Yeah. Uh, and just and when I touch the field, I just feel this, this, this mood and this uh, expression where like I, I'm I'm in my favorite place. I'm having the time of my life, and I don't need anything. Um, just feel super focused. Yeah. Um, and personally, uh, I would say in five to ten years, um. We, we will be in a World Cup the next cycle. 
We will be in the World Cup the next Love cycle. That, and I that know sounds good. <laughs> that sounds good to me <laughs> as a fan. <laughs> and I know it's easy. It's easy. It's easy to say that we will be in the World Cup, but um, I, I, I see, I see the talent here, and I see the talent in um, Jamaica, and there's no reason why we shouldn't be in the World Cup. Yeah. And um, I see myself five to ten years helping, being a part of that, mm-hmm. and um, cause um. And I see myself also being a professional footballer mm-hmm. um, at a big time team and um, not even skipping steps, just step by step by step. Mm-hmm. And um, I just, I, I see a bright, bright future for um, my country with football. And I see myself being a part of it. And I see myself buying into whatever system it may be, a mm-hmm. uh, Paul system. And I, I, I see myself uh, buying into it and, and helping contribute yeah well said and i can feel i can feel the passion that you have you speak really really passionate about um the football and man i love it i love this sport some of the time i'm wondering if i'm sick <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> so um you came here on, on on trials and um you 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 were you actually saw some of the under 20 players um what do you think is the difference with where you're playing right now with some of the players that you see here um Personally, I would say um, the the talent is no different. Um, I, th- I think you can watch a, a, a twenty session and, and see that there's talent there. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of talent there. Um, I would say the biggest difference is uh, the resources that um, uh, people over here may take for granted. Mm-hmm. Um, it was resources that um, Jamaicans Jamaican footballers can use, and um, I see it as um, not not as a disadvantage, but I see like um, they have to work harder, and I, I could see that in their eyes that they're working harder and harder and harder, and um, it's actually it's it's quite a it's quite a blessing to see, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, and because you know um, the thing is that because we have so much players, talented players, but as a fan, when we call these players talent, um, you have other people who said, okay, these guys are always have you know those bad talk, but. Definitely. As someone who knows, I, I really do know how to spot talent and I can see players who are really, really ta- talented. And I've seen it over the years of looking at football, watching football, and you can identify talent. Um, so we've been here for 17 minutes now discussing football. Um, definitely, we can have a longer discussion on this on another time, but we want to keep it short and spicy. Um, it was really, really good having you on, Cameron Lacey. I do believe that your, your passion um, just we speak, I can feel it <laughs> and feel enthused um, anticipating <laughs> that passion in the team. And when we have players with that love for the sport and that passion, that drive um, to go forward, that really, really is a blessing. I honestly believe that that is a blessing um, going forward. So um, it was an honor having you onto the show. I do believe that you have a lot to offer to our team, to our program. And we're looking forward to see you coming again. We're really looking forward to see you coming again and to, to produce what you can do best. Um, so, really good to have you on. Hopefully, you're doing good. And I will, we'll see you again. We'll speak again. We'll try to speak again. Uh, when can we speak yeah. again? Um, whenever, whenever. Uh, I'm always available for military good. <laughs> All right. Um, um, what should I say? You know, I should ask you this. Two, I, I, there's two questions that normally ask footballers. Every footballer. Um, you play you play fifa yeah i play fifa uh, xbox or ps uh xbox hey, oh good um how good are you um you know i would say i'm quite good i'm quite good at fifa I, i'm not really good still but definitely we, we, we will see we will see but i do play <laughs> xbox because actually after i finish this program i'll be playing some xbox uh, <laughs> so um <laughs> what should i say next the next question the last question is messi or ronaldo Oh, so personally, I would say Ronaldo. Mm, personally, okay. <sighs> I'm a messy person, so <laughs> I'm a messy person. I, I love um uh, a player who can do it all. Um, not only score goals, but do it ev- do everything. Um, but that's that's a part of it. Um, but thank you, Cameron. Really, really appreciate you having on. Um, you are a nice young man to speak to, and definitely you have 
I've learned a few things from you as well. It, 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 it's amazing how passionate you are at such a young age, and I do like that factor. And it goes to show that football is everywhere. The love of football is in everyone who loves this, um, who supports this, this sport. We love the sport. The players, the fans, really love it. And I want you to keep that passion, keep that burning fire. And definitely, I do believe that that is the fire that most players, even persons who don't make it far, that is the fire that they lack. And you have that fire, so keep that fire burning and just put in the training, work hard, and continue being humble as you are. So, thank you very much, Cameron, for coming on. People, make okay. sure you go and smash the like button. It's nice having Cameron on. So, um, if you don't like me, you can like him. He's a future reggae boy. <laughs> He's, he will play for the senior team quite soon. So, if you don't like me, hit the like button for him. Because you know a lot of people. <laughs> but see you, see you again um, next time, um, Cameron. And thank it's you. Been a good, it's been a good, um, good time. People, and we are out, people. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we are out. Boom.